And thousands of cyclists are expected for this weekend's Tour de Donut up in Miami County. Well, many roads will stay open to both cars and cyclists, which is why the sheriff's office is reminding people about sharing the roads safely. Two News reporter Kristen Escal working for you, explaining how you can stay safe and enjoy the event. Brooke and Mark, it's a bicycle race featuring donut stops, and the sheriff's office says at least 2,000 cyclists are expected to hit the streets for the Tour de Donut. Deputies say sharing the roads safely means drivers and cyclists have to be careful. The Tour de Donut is coming back to Troy this year, and businesses around the public square are getting ready for crowds of donut lovers. Doing these kind of events will really get other people outside Troy to see the community Troy has to offer. Also preparing for the crowds, the Miami County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant Todd Tennant says most roads for the bicycle races will remain open. Many with speed limits of 55 miles per hour. We're not interested in in being out there looking for for violations. We just want the riders and the public to know what the rules are. He says the rules for cyclists include following all traffic laws, staying to the right one third of the roadway, and having no more than two cyclists riding side by side. Lieutenant Tennant says ten extra deputies will be on duty Saturday. If traffic's backed up for bicyclists sitting at an intersection, they'll clear the intersection, but only pay attention to, to a police officer if they're giving you a signal to, to go ahead and cross an intersection or, or make a turn. And as for drivers, Tennant says they need to be careful and pay attention. Slow down, please, as you pull up behind them. If you want to pass them, pass legally, but know that they are going to be making left and right hand turns as well. And state law requires drivers to give cyclists three feet while passing. Now, the bicycle rides are set to begin at 8 30 Saturday morning. Additional events are planned for tomorrow night at 5 in Troy. We've got more information about the bike routes on our website, WDTN.com, under As Seen on 2 News. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.